Flow cytometry is a biophysical technique to study cell characteristics such as cell size, cell count, cell cycle, etc. It is based upon the principle of fluorescence. Cells expressing fluorophore are distinguished from other non-target cells in a mixture to study their characteristics. It is an automated and extremely high throughput technique which analyzes over 10,000 cells per second for up to 30 characteristics in a single run. For analysis through flow cytometry, target cell must express a fluorescent protein or immunolevel. For more information on cell expressing fluorescent protein, watch my video on GFP given in the description below. For immunolabeling, a fluorescently labeled antibody specific to the cell or the protein of interest is used. In this case, a mixture of cells are treated with RFP tagged antibodies specific for target cell surface protein. Non-target cells remain unlabeled and emit no fluorescence. Target cells bind to RFP antibodies and fluoresce red. This mixture of cells can now be used for flow cytometric analysis. A flow cytometer comprises of three components. A fluidic system that forms a monodispersed stream of cells so that just one cell passes through at a time. Here red dot represents target cells expressing red fluorescence and black dot represents non-target cells showing no fluorescence. An optic system like laser for excitation of fluorescent cells an electronic component or detectors that detects and differentiates fluorescent signals from scattered light converts into digital signal for subsequent data analysis. After this the cells are discarded. In case if target cell needs to be separated from other cells for downstream experiments, preparative flow cytometer like fluorescence activated cell sorter may be used. For this I will be making a separate video. Flow cytometry is an extremely useful technique to sort target cells from a mixture of cells, protein expression analysis, post-translational modifications such as protein acetylation and phosphorylation to measure abundance of a particular mRNA, long non-coding RNAs and microRNAs, to check number of viable or dead cells, to measure stages of cell cycle and ploidy level determination, identify cell surface receptors and enzymatic activity measurement. If you like the video, do share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel as I keep uploading such interesting videos. Please comment below on which topic my another video should be. Thanks for watching.